coming. Kylie, I will kiss your feet at night. Thank you. Hello, guys. It's me, Nikki. Hello. In today's video, we are following a Vogue makeup tutorial, and not just any Vogue makeup tutorial. We are following King Kylie, Kylie Jenner. The chokehold she had on the makeup community. She took her palms and she wrapped it around our necks and she was like, you're gonna wear winged eyeliner today. <laughs> When I think back of like 2016, 2017 makeup era, which is kind of making a comeback and I'm, I'm here for it. Of course it was my prime. I used to be so obsessed with anything makeup she did. Sometimes I, I wish there was a bit more personality, <laughs> but the makeup looks always served. Four plus four. She ate. Of course she has Kylie Cosmetics and she has all her products and she comes out with like six to eight new products every year. But I feel like even Kylie toned it all down. So to my surprise, she did a Vogue makeup tutorial. And today I'm gonna sit down in Temple Tutorials and follow along. Now judging by the thumbnail, this is gonna be a very soft, easy look, which I have grown to sort of appreciate myself as well over the years. I know it's a shock, but I made it. Finally. By the way, before we get started, oh, this background. Oh, I did this together with my husband, my husband, my husband Dylan, and I don't know how we did this, but we did. <laughs> Can you imagine if one day I do a Vogue makeup tutorial and it's like, well, I'm gonna show you the most exclusive tips and tricks you've never seen before. <laughs> Not like that's gonna happen. I mean, I never got invited back to the Met Gala. <laughs> Let's get started. <laughs> okay, are we ready for Miss Kylie to show us how it's done in 2023? Let's go. Hi guys, it's Kylie. Hi Kylie. And I'm back. I missed you both. She I back. I just wanted to come update you on my new routine and also share all my secrets with you. I'm gonna do like two pumps of my moisturizer. Okay, we're gonna start. And moisturizer. This is one of my foundation samples, my first secret of this whole video. Don't tell anyone. Okay. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. This is my, my go to. Oh, and she mixes them. Mix it up. Mix it up. Mix it up. I think that when you think about Kylie's foundation back in, in like the, the glam days, it was full coverage. And now she's actually mixing foundation together with her moisturizer. That is a trick that a lot of makeup artists do. I do want to put out there that if you mix your foundation with a moisturizer or a serum, that is going to alter the formula quite a bit. Sometimes it may be like a long wearing foundation. It might not be when you mix the, the formula around, but you know, we got powder for that. <laughs> oh. Wait, she didn't even prime? Kylie, not to prime is a what? Prime. You know, I, I, I went in, you know, anticipating not doing like a full coverage beat, but still, it hurts. Good night. You won't be needed today. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my foundation, which is the Charlotte Til- Charlotte Babes! The Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. No, what are you called? Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna be mixing that in with my Nimia License to Glow. I love this because look, it's blue. Okay, so I'm gonna mix these two together and then apply. I'm scared. Oh, she mixed it on her finger? She got a tiny face. I can do, if I use one finger, that's my chin. All three of them. <laughs> well, I'm gonna do a couple more pumps than this Kai Kai. Old habits never die. And then I'm gonna take my License to Glow Serum. Oh, okay. As it said, it's a License to Glow Serum, so it's gonna give you that beautiful glow. This is gonna be way more coverage than she had going on. I'll go in light. <laughs> A lot of people don't like using fingers. I'm one of them. I hate it. My nails get dirty. But you know, if Kylie does it. Okay, so I'm gonna work this in with my fingers as much as possible, but then I really do have to go in with either a brush or a sponge to like get myself together. I just never understand how the girlies do it. I'm like, everything gets dirty. Yes, fingers are a great tool. Yeah, you can do many things with many fingers. It's just not for me, babes. As Charlotte would say, I don't know what she would say. <laughs> oh, yes, no, I definitely need a sponge to finesse. Like if I do that technique of fingers first, sponge after, it just makes me look dry. Okay, so I'm gonna have to remedy this. Okay, a great option for natural days. I love this one. This is Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Skin Tint. This is a banger. 
I love this one with all my heart. I'm gonna use this to kind of go over everything and get rid of the dryness too. I'm sorry. I love this product. When I'm not doing like full glam and I just want like a glowy, stunning base, Look at that, goddess material. Okay, I think we saved that. Oh, way better, way better. Oh, back in the game, bitch. Okay, what's next, girly? Concealer, and very little of it. Fingers again, girly? I can't do that with these nails. Oh, she's fingering it up. <laughs> I'm going in with the Natasha Denona. I, I hear you wondering, girl. Why aren't you using any Kylie products? Well, because I think the last PR package I ever got was the Grinch collection, and then I never received anything again. I can buy my own products. I do actually a lot, but there's not been like Kylie launches that have really like piqued my interest. I'm using Natasha Denona. <laughs> So she uses a little bit on the cheek. That's more than she used, but don't tell anyone. And then she did like the most tiny dots of life. And yeah. Now, and I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, well, what happened? What did you say about her? I don't think I said anything about her. After like a couple of months, I was like, hey, I haven't received a, a package from Kylie in a long time. And then I was like, oh, oh, this is such a fabulous concealer. Look at that. It's like I've slept and slept and slept. Oh. Now it is slightly concerning to me that I already know that her next step is, is cream bronzer. When I do my under eyes, I have to set with powder right away. If not, I will crease. So it is concerning to me that there's no powder in the next clip, but I'm gonna use the House Labs concealer to just add a bit more brightness. This is a more pinky one. This is in the color Fair Rosy, just to like brighten it up a little bit more. So I'm gonna let that sort of like sit and marinate for a little bit so it gets more coverage. And now she's going on to bronzer. Let's see what she has to say. Okay, she takes cream bronzer on the brush. I don't do my makeup every day. Same. I feel like <laughs> the majority of the time I'm not wearing makeup because I Same. always have an event or a photo shoot. Or casual. So I like to let my face breathe. Silly girl. But I do love a tinted sunscreen. Okay, no powder. So she cream contours slash bronzes with a brush. I love that. I need powder though. <laughs> okay, now it has had some time to kind of sit. So I'm just gonna work in that House Labs concealer. And try to like really hold that concealer in place. Do not like drag it all over the under eye area. Just kind of like keep it centered and keep it cute. So for cream bronzer, I am using the Makeup by Mario Light Medium Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. I don't really play a lot with this, but I thought Mario, Kim, Kylie, you know. Um, so I'm gonna take that on the same brush that Kylie used, and I'm just gonna start tapping in some warmth on those cheekbones. I don't like this brush that much though. Also gonna work on this. Oh, she's looking tan. And then I do always go back in with my sponge and use a clean side to sort of like harmonize all the edges and make it nice and seamless. Because when you go in with that brush, it sometimes leaves like marks or like, you know, little spots. But when you go over with your sponge to kind of like melt it all together, it just, it works. Like this is probably all the bronzer that I'll use. Okay, so she uses the cream Especially bronzer to contour her nose. Taking this angle brush. And then takes concealer to, oh, to map out the edge. Oh, okay. She's an artiste. Thing is, I never ever cream contour my nose because when I cream contour, it always looks muddy. It only looks good when I do it with powder, but Kylie does it, I do it. So I'm gonna take that same cream bronzer by Makeup by Mario and I'm just gonna softly try to give me some structure on this nose. Just the sides. Oh, that's not bad at all. I do find that it kind of lifts and like breaks apart the foundation underneath because you already like weakened the formula of the foundation. So any like friction is gonna like let it like go. Okay, and then really carefully just going over it with my sponge to blend out any harsh edges and to get that texture, those holes to go back where I kind of like lifted off my foundation. Oh my, we're so technical in this video today. Like am I a tutorialist? <laughs> I would love some powder, Kylie. Okay, I need to get these. This one is very, like a really pretty neutral blush. I like Okay, pinks. like peachy and coral. Part. This looks so pretty. I need to order these Mine's now. Good. You can even put it over powder. You can also put it on your lips too. That's a bold claim. 
Lips. Okay, lipstick. Oh my God, she's going fast. I love this Givenchy. Okay, part. stop, stop. She said Givenchy. Are we talking about powder? I can't wait. So she goes in with her own cream blush and I'm definitely ordering that after I am done recording this because that looks bomb. And she definitely used like a, a brighter, corally, peachy color. Um, but to to stay in the, in the trend of the Kardashians, I have another Mario product. This is the Makeup by Mario Soft Pop Plumping Blush Veil in Pinch Me Pink. I'm gonna pinch. <laughs> and I like the way she placed this. Um, instead of like going really, really high up here, she really popped it almost underneath the eye. Oh, that is cute. And then she also, I, we're gonna, you know, work on this, but she also did a little bit on the chin. And I think she also did a little bit on the nose. And if she didn't, I'm doing it. This is cute, Kylie. I love the color. I like the placement. I, like she's setting trends again. Okay, a little bit more, cause I love it. I'm a blush whore and that's why I want more. I love this Givenchy powder. Oh, I finally. I actually watching my last Vogue video. The amount of powder that I used that's is what I'm just saying. unreal. Thank the Lord sure of me. makeup. And sure. then she also that's does her makeup. nose. Did she only set her under eyes? Houston, we have a problem. So I tap it a, a few times to make sure all the creases are gone. And then I have to go in with my powder straight away and I'm, I'm, I'm too late already. I'm too late already. Okay, so I have to go back in again, get rid of the creases and then go, go, go back in. And then she also set the side of her nose, a little crevices. I love that word, crevices. <laughs> Another secret, I have these amazing cream shadows start here. Okay. So you could put this directly on your eye. I'm going for a lighter look, so I'm gonna put it on. Lighter look. Okay, okay, and then she does outer corner. I like to focus on the outer corner of the eye, but also like, I love- I am a commentator. This is just a really pretty- And then shadows. Matte. Okay, so first she uses a cream shadow, focuses it on the outer corner and the crease, and then she sets it with powder. I don't have that. Um, I do have Hindash. This is the Color Fluid Ultra Matte in Carve. So I'm gonna use that lightly because we're doing a light look. And then maybe mix it with this House Labs High Power Pigment Paint. And we're using this on the outer. This is doing nothing for me currently. Well, she set light, so she does like a outer corner focus and then kind of sweeps and swoops it out. And then in here, which is my favorite part to apply shadow, because it makes my hooded eyes look better. You know what just hit me? We haven't done brows. <laughs> And I know Kylie has got like the, the most gorgeous, full, hairy brows of life. Even though I have grown hair because of the Anastasia brow serum, I do need to go in with more. So I hope she doesn't like skip on it. And then we get to go in with our powder shadows to kind of set that in place and give that a bit more oomph. All right, so as you can see, it's like a soft smoke, very structured, very contoured, but. Still soft. Next up is liner. Liner. I'm really having a tiny baby wing. Just tiny to bring baby out wing. My eye. I have round eyes, so I like to give them more of an almond shape. Okay, we're doing eyeliner, and we're just doing like a hair, like a, a lash, I take a corner. To take off the end a little bit more and sh make it really sharp and clean. I'm gonna put my lip on. This is another lip. She's not gonna do brows, is she? <laughs> when someone moves on from a liner to lip. I don't see a brow in their future. Baby wing, this can smell my fear. I, I'm not good at baby things. Wings and babies themselves. <laughs> okay, baby wing. Don't, stop. Oh, I don't wanna even it out, just a smidge. That's a baby wing. That is smaller than a baby wing, but I gotta stop. Okay, other eye, I'm pushing my luck. I need to stop. I'm done. I always overline my lips a little bit. Just a smidge. <laughs> That's a nice color. That's that's beautiful. I don't have steps anymore. I kind of just do whatever I feel. Is it coming? So we're gonna go brows. Kylie, I will kiss your feet at night. Thank you. Okay, we're going from wing to lip liner only to brow. Okay. And then she kind of like smudges it in. Oh my god! Didn't she use the blush as the lip stain? Hold on. I'm sorry. I forgot about that. Oh, cute. Oh! So we're gonna go brows. I'm using this Anastasia pencil. It has this cute new gold packaging. Okay, so we're brushing them brows up. Brows used to be the focus of our look. Yes. We used to always do these thick yes. brows. Yes! And you know what? In old tradition, we're gonna go off camera and do them. <laughs> 
if we're doing like throwback moments to 2016, I never did my brows on camera, so I'm not doing it today. Be right back. All right, the brows are on and there's not much left of this video. So I'm hoping at least mascara, setting spray, anything. I found this in my drawer. It is an all over face highlighter. A cream highlighter. It, oh, of course, cream it's highlighter. This is my Kylash Volume Mascara. Mascara! <laughs> Well, apparently I am the worst content creator and makeup artist there is because I don't have a cream highlighter at hand. So I'm gonna go in with my favorite highlighter and just give myself that glow that I deserve. And now to make that look a bit more as if you applied a cream highlighter, I'm taking the e.l.f. Mm -hmm. Jelly Pop. Wait, this is a highlighter. I thought this was clear, but it has a highlighter in it. Okay. I really am the worst. Okay, so I'm just gonna load this up. <laughs> this is gorgeous, by the way. And then I'm just gonna go over top of where I just applied the highlight to make it look more as a cream highlight. Miss Jenner went straight in with her mascara, but I trust I have to curl. I'm, I'm breaking the rules. I have to curl. You don't know what I'm doing. I am heating up my eyelash curler because I've got most boring lashes on planet Earth. And when you heat up the metal part of your lash curler and wait for it to cool down a little bit so you don't burn yourself and then curl, it's like using an actual curling iron on your lashes and the, the curl will be curling. Okay, so we're applying mascara. Like She's got such lashes. great lashes. I'm like I don't really go heavy in here because I like okay, the outer corner. Got it. Eye. Not that I have the option because I don't have any mm -hmm. hair there. Do this little wiggle. A know? wiggle. Okay, mascara time. She said, focus on the outer corner and not too much on inner part. Wait, is she not applying falsies? Like, just give me a corner lash. I, I'm satisfied with with little when it comes to lashes. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> this is the full. Updated Kylie. Kylie look. Kylie. I'm sure I'll see you guys again in the no, future. No, don't say bye. Don't again. say bye. I'll see you guys soon. She kissed us goodbye. Not a falsy, not a corner lash, not a setting spray, not a lip gloss, not an eye pencil inside the eye. This is it. I wouldn't. Or would I? Guess you'll have to find out in the next clip when I say goodbye. <laughs> And there we have it, my glow babies. This is what my face looks like with Kylie Jenner's makeup routine shown in her Vogue makeup tutorial. Of course, yes, it's a lot softer than what we're used to from back in the day, but like this is a gorgeous, gorgeous look. It's very glowy, it's very healthy. In my opinion, this could be every day, minus the eyes maybe, but like I, I feel pretty and cute and gorgeous. I think this gets a 10 out of 10. I think this is a slay. Can you tell that I originally wanted to do Ariana Grande? Can you? I don't think you can. <laughs> Vogue has been going off with their makeup content again. So I saw that Jennifer Lopez did one. I saw Ariana Grande do one. So if you want me to recreate or follow along any other Vogue makeup tutorials, let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> I wanna thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, and then do all that. I love you so much. And hopefully I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.